Jerry, how did you feel about the, the depth situation going into the season? You know, I guess you know, with, with with Dylan, is he making that kind of a three man thing? Is Selden making it a four man thing? What, what's the? I'm not even going to tell us the plan. But how do you feel about the depth? Uh, right now, I love the depth. You know, first time since I've been here that we've had multiple backs that we got a lot of trust in as an offensive staff. You know, you see obviously the Jay Rice and the Jabari, those guys have kind of been staples in the offense the last few years. But like you said, Dylan Sampson continued to grow, continued to show that he can be a playmaker in this offense. And I'm really impressed with the younger guys. The Cam Seldens of the world, uh, the Khalifa Keys, like they've done a really good job of coming in here, you know, in the summertime or in the spring when Cam was here, just learning and getting adapted to what we're trying to do and what we're trying to fulfill offensively. So right, right now, the depth is, is in an extreme, extremely good place. Vince and Brian. Can you share with us your working relationship and how in sync you are with Coach Halsley now taking over as OC in his time with you here at Tennessee? Well, you know, me and Coach Halsley have always had a great relationship. Obviously, back, being back there as a quarterback and running back tandem, you always kind of got to be on the same page. I just think more so than ever, you know, right now with his, you know, increased role as a play caller, you know, just kind of leaning on me more to just make sure that those backs because our backs are in good shape because sometimes, you know, he's got a lot more on his plate now just to kind of handle. So he'll come to me for recommendations or where I feel like the backs should be or the backs should be doing, uh, not only from just a run game standpoint, but from a protection standpoint as well because we have to make adjustments not only as the game goes along, but during the course of the week, as you watch more and more film, things continue to show itself and continue to appear. And just making sure that we're all on the same page is like extremely important. Jerry, how do you know when a freshman is ready? How do you know when a newcomer is ready to play? I think it's the way he operates within our offense. You know, as you watch Cam and as you watch Khalifa continue to grow, uh, there are some differences as far as, you know, how they go about handling their business, uh, not only in the classroom, but also on the field right now. Uh, I know I think back to last year when you had Dylan Sampson, it was very apparent early uh, when he got here that the way he processes his information and the way he can communicate, it, he was going to be a guy that found himself in a rotation sooner rather than later. Uh, probably about the ninth practice during fall camp last year, we kind of realized, okay, Dylan Sampson can really help us. Uh, for Cam Selden, it was more he made the jump, I really think, in the summertime. Uh, in the spring, it was like Star Wars for him. Everything was going all over the place. I think things continue to slow down as we go through the installs in the summertime. And then what you saw is in the fall, you know, in fall camp, like now the guy doesn't really make a whole lot of mental mistakes. It's going to be more about just the fundamental piece to it, pad level, uh, you know, are the bright lights going to scare him? off a little bit, but I do think the way he's been operating, his demeanor as a person is probably going to allow him to really help us at some point in time this year. Yeah. Jerry, how would you assess the, the pass pro aspect of, of your room throughout fall camp and, and just how much of a benefit has it been for those older three guys that they have experience under the belt doing it at this level? Well, I think growth is really the key word, not only just from, you know, from when we started this year, but over the last few years. Uh, the mentality has changed dramatically. Those guys all knew that, you know, a couple of years ago, that was kind of the focal point that we needed to improve on as a running back room. You know, we let the team down in some aspects of not making sure that we were where we were supposed to be and firm as we should be. They took a, they took it uh, took it on themselves to make sure that physically they were doing what they're supposed to do to make sure that when they stepped on the field over the last couple of years, they've been stout enough and strong enough to hold up and pass pro. And I and I really am impressed with the way they kind of attacked that. Uh, you know, Sam wasn't here with us that first year, but he kind of understood and learned really fast that, you know, you're going to have to be, uh, you know, you're able to learn how to pass pro in college football. Uh, you know, he had that mistake against LSU last year and, and really never made another mistake after that from a pass protection standpoint. You know, was very intentional about coming over, making sure he knew where his eyes were going into every week. And I think now Jay Wright and Jabari, you know, that's one thing that they, they really take pride in. They take pride as a unit, we take pride as a unit, in making sure that we know exactly what our responsibilities are every week, even if the quarterback may uh, or the center may ID it wrong, or whatever's going on at that point in time, you know, we're able to come back and say, hey, we probably should have did X, Y, Z coach as opposed to that. And that's just, that's just taking pride in your craft. Patrick, Brent, and Casey. Jerry, you talked about Cam a little bit. Coach Eckler mentioned as a guy that helped you guys in the return game uh, on the kickoff. What do you guys like about his ability back there uh, to return kickoff? I think the biggest thing is Cam has a 
first of all, he's got a innate ability to catch the football. Uh, and you see he played a lot of receiver in high school, so that carries over, obviously, as a kickoff return. If you wanted to return points, he probably could do that as well. Uh, the second thing is, you know, we used the term running through the smoke. Uh, a big guy that's six foot, six one, whatever he is, 220 pounds right now, and he's not really afraid of any contact. He will run through those small creases, you know, especially on kickoff return when you got those guys on kickoff team coming at you full speed. Cam has that ability to run through the smoke. He understands his strength, and he's a big, strong, strong guy that can do that. Jerry, you guys have said you, you, you'll ride the hot hand in terms of rotations and all that. How do you make sure that guys don't try to do too much to ensure that they stay in and are the guy with the hot hand? Does that concern you at all? Uh, you know, at times, you know, we had a conversation today out there on the practice field. You know, Jabari got caught in a situation where uh, he probably could have did a little bit of extra to try to gain more yards. And, you know, just kind of making sure they understand, hey, stay calm. Like, it's going to come. You don't have to force the big run. The big runs are going to come. Our offensive line is really growing a whole lot over the last couple of weeks. And, you know, they're going to create holes. They're going to create gashes within defenses to, to allow us to run through holes. So we don't have to be extra uh, trying to do a little bit too much sometimes. Uh, I do think, you know, when you got competition and you know guys on your back as well, uh, if you do try to get a little bit out of the framework of what, who you are and what you are, you know right now there's another guy sitting behind you ready to come in and, and probably take that opportunity. Casey, then Rob. Sorry about my voice. <laughs> What's the message when you send the running back room out for the first game of the year? Uh, just be yourself, you know, like like we just got through talking about, like don't try to do anything uh, outside the framework of who you are and what you are. You know, fundamentally just being sound, making sure you operate within the course of our offense, uh, get your eyes back to the sideline. We play fast, we signal fast, uh, we're bouncing up, getting the ball back to the officials. Just play fundamentally sound football. We don't have to do a whole lot of extra things. If we do all the small things right, everything else will take care of itself. Coach, I'm sure every position group has, has a different challenge. When you're talking about the tempo of this offense, what's like the unique challenge to get you know, a freshman ready to operate at the best you got? I think a freshman running back, no matter what offense, to be honest with you, that I've been involved in, is always going to be about protections. Uh, just something that those guys don't do a lot in high school, not only from a standpoint of you know who you have or what your responsibility is, but also just from the standpoint of technique. That's just not something that they're doing a ton of. So just getting them incorporated to that, what that feels like, what that looks like, and then always anticipating potential pressure. You know, we talk a lot about potential pressure on third down situations, but some teams are high first and second down pressure teams. So you just got to be ready no matter what. When it's a pass play, uh, if you're not getting out and you're protecting, that's your contribution to that pass play uh, being effective. Last question, Ben. What have you guys seen or talked about with Virginia's front or even their defense overall? Uh, really impressed with how hard those guys play. One thing about University of Virginia, which you can tell is they were in a lot of games last year. You know, you see the record and people just assume that they were not a very good football team. But there were spots and there were times where they showed flashes, especially in their front uh, defensively. A lot of movement up front, a lot of stemming. Uh, they got really good defensive ends. They do a good job pressing the pocket. So that's going to be really important for us to make sure that before we get out, we make sure there's no extra trash uh, hanging around the quarterback's field, or hanging around the quarterback for his vision. Uh, we're going to do a great job of blunting things up, as we use the term, before we get out and, and actually in our pass route. Uh, at the second level, at the linebacker position, man, those guys move around, they fly around. We're going to see some different bodies probably than we saw on film at some certain spots. But I think the athletic ability is still there.